Hello there! How's it going? I'm Jake. And I'm Jadam. And we're here to tell you about products. A wonderful product. Hey Jadam? Hey, what what? What is the product? Well, it is. It's an iPhone app. This is the iPhone. It is a, it's an iPhone app. Vacation. Look at this. But you know what's special about it? Not only is it an app, but it comes with its very own device. Oh, it's a device? It's a device and an app. I wasn't filled in. Think about that. Wait, hold on. Hold on. Do you see this? This is an iPhone. Do you see? That's a case. And what does the case do, Jake? So naive. My friend, this is no ordinary case. This is a universal remote. For the Get app. out. Mm-hmm. No way! Okay. This is a universal remote that will put all of your remotes into one compiled place for use whenever, wherever. And not only with your remote. It doesn't only limit itself to TVs. You know, we hook it up to our air conditioner. Hmm? Anything, that. anything that takes infrared signals, in fact. I believe that's how it works, am I right? IR, I like to say. IR, you are real. The old IR. Oh, ho, ho, ho. So I've got my beautiful little iPhone here. That is an iPhone. And I decide that I would like to get that universal remote app, the Power A one. Power A universal remote? So I go to the App Store, right? You've got your remote app now. And um, it says something about a case. A uh, case? A Power A remote case. Huh. So Just I'm confused until I go to the Apple Store. Hop, skip, and a jump. And uh, find one and purchase it. Get the case. For about $60. Case closed. And, which is actually pretty cheap, not gonna lie. Yeah, compared to other ones that are four or five times the amount. Indeed. So now we've got a whole bunch here that we've already done, just for fun. Um, but let's set up another one. There you go. There you go. Okay. What's a good name for a remote? Pat. Think? Pat. Erson. Patterson. Hey, it recognized it. Teamwork. So now we've got Patterson here, and it's gone to the programming screen, the editing screen. You know, so it's got all your buttons that your you remote need. with like volume and channel buttons and number buttons. So now what we do is we grab our remote. This is one for our TV. And you put it, you align it like so. Let's do it like this. And then you capture IR signals. Yes, captures the infrared. Like Pokemon. Exactly. You just um, grab these. These signals. You do it for every single button you want to be using really. Yeah. And then once you're uh, done capturing all the signals, all you got to do is save, save the remote. Save it. Rescued. And then uh, now the TV should work. So let's go give Patterson. Let's give him the old, uh, the old one too. So we got Patterson. Already. Let's uh, give Patterson. I'm so excited. <laughs> oh, I hear the machinery. Your TV's it's broken. It's warming up. No. TV's broken. Give it a chance. See that? Oh, skiing. Well, let's not watch skiing. I want to watch, um, let's see, whatever's on the next channel up. Ooh, yes. Perfect. Yes. Perfect. Much better. So, as you can see, it's functional. Indeed. Thyroid immediately. Yes. So, so, this thing right here. Look at it. This device. This is a cool device. Pretty cool, actually. We like the idea. Indeed. Mm -hmm. Many applications. Many. TV. We got the TV working, we got the Xbox working. Blu-ray player. Air conditioner. Air conditioner. That was, that was And we were point. thinking about things that it could be used for. Like, for example... Like a Wii. A Wii or Wii a remote. Xbox. Because it's similar technology. Controller. Similar technology with the motion thing as a Wii remote. I bet the PS3 controller would probably work too if you could get some sort of tilt sensor involved too. Overall, it is lovely! Applause. And you know, we even, uh, we even got it... We even got it to work up. on the uh, to work on the, the camera. Remote for the camera. I think. So we just don't.